Hey, what's happening, YouTubers? We're back with a brand new unboxing video. Today we have the Marvel Legends Thena from the Eternals movie. Uh, this is a Target exclusive, and I just got it today. Um, but I think you can still order it through the app and pick up in your store if it's in stock or have it shipped to your house. I'll leave a link in the description below. Let's go ahead and get this started like we always do. We'll start with the box art first. So on the side of the packaging, you see the image of Angelina's Thena. And then, of course, the Eternals logo on the bottom. And on the back of the packaging is the full image of Thena. And as you can tell, there aren't other figures featured on this box art because this isn't part of the Build-A-Figure wave. This is strictly just a Target exclusive. And on the right side is the description of Thena. I'm going to go ahead and read it. It says, A fierce warrior, Thena, has the ability to use cosmic energy to form any handheld weapon she can think of. Now, the reason why I wanted to read it, it does remind me of another MCU character, if you all remember. Hela, because in a lot of ways, Hela was kind of able to manipulate her own weapons. Like she would come out with like an axe or like a sword and like shoot daggers. Nee. But anyways, enough about that. And enough about the box art as well. Let's go ahead and get Athena out of the packaging. And here's Athena out of the packaging. We're going to start with the accessories first. Before I actually look at the accessories, I do want to mention because Thena is a Target exclusive or an exclusive figure, yes, she does not come with a Build-A-Figure piece, but the advantage to that, though, is that Hasbro has more in the budget to work with this figure and add additional accessories, and she does come with a lot of accessories. She comes with four weapons and an additional hand sculpt. So the additional set of hands that she comes with are like gripping hands, and they're meant to grip the weapons that are packaged with her. So the first weapon we're going to look at is her staff, uh, and I'm not going to BS you all and act like I know what I'm talking about because the movie isn't out yet, so I'm not sure what it's going to be called, but... It is her staff. And the second weapon we're going to look at is the sword that I think I've seen the trailer already. Um, it does have this unique pattern on it. In fact, a lot of her weapons have the pattern on it. And then the next weapon we're going to look at is like a traditional sword. Still has that unique pattern like we saw in the other two. And the last weapon we're going to look at is like a dagger. So this is kind of more similar to what we saw like with this sword right here. All right, enough about the accessories. Let's go ahead and take a look at the figure itself. And we're going to start with the head sculpt. And you all know how much of a fan I am of Hasbro's photo real tech when it comes to the MCU figures. I think they did a superb job getting the likeness to Angelina Jolie in figure form. I mean, that head sculpt looks almost on par to how she looks in the movie, in my opinion. Um, but I think they did a great job with the photo real tech on this. Uh, like I mentioned before with the other Eternal figures, it's kind of hit or miss. And this one was for sure a hit. Now, when it comes to the outfit of the figure, um, it's on point to what we see in the box art. And one thing I did want to point out, um, there is an inscription on her chest right here. And they also added that on there. But the thing is, I'm not sure what it means or anything like that. I'm sure we'll find out when the movie comes out. So I think that was a nice attention to detail on Hasbro's part. And then just kind of reiterate what I was mentioning about the inscription right there. It's also found on her gauntlets as well. Now, in terms of articulation, she does have a diaphragm joint, kind of like the other Eternal figures. Um, and in terms of range of motion for the legs, she should be able to get more dynamic poses because her skirt isn't as hindered as the other figures that have like the long drooping ones. This one, you should be able to get her in dynamic poses. But also, the other thing I did want to mention, um, it is using the pinless technology. I do wish they would have implemented the double jointed elbows like we saw in the Captain Carter figure onto this. But they're single jointed, but you can still get a good decent range of motion. All right, now we're going to jump right into size comparison. And first size comparison, here she is standing next to a couple of new Eternal figures I just picked up. We have Makari and Druig. And is it just me or does this dude look like Ezra Miller? And next size comparison, here she is standing next to a couple of Eternals I've already reviewed. We have Icarus, Cersei, and Fastos. All right, next size comparison, here she is standing next to Crow from the same Eternals Marvel Legends wave. Uh, now, he is a deluxe figure, and I remember reading uh, online that I think Thena and Crow have like some kind of connection or relationship in the comics, and I think you can definitely see it in the trailer as well. Um, I'm not going to pretend here and act like I know what I'm talking about because I haven't read the comics yet, but I have reading a little bit about the Eternals online. But also, I do want to mention, I feel like Crow is going to be a sought-after figure after the movie. So if you see it available and ready to pick up, I'd recommend buying it if you are an MCU collector. Our next size comparison is from two figures I just got recently. Here is Thena sitting next to the Marvel Legends Rescue and Captain Marvel from the Infinity Saga Amazon exclusive 2-pack. And next size comparison, here she is sitting next to the Marvel Legends Hela from the Hela and Scourge 2-pack. Our right, next size comparison, here she is standing next to a couple other Target exclusives. Uh, we have Katie and Happy Hogan. And the reason why I put this out there is because if you'd have told me in the beginning of the year uh, we would have an Angelina Jolie, a Jon Favreau, an Aquafina figure, I would have said you're crazy. But yet here we are, and I'm stoked that we have this, and I'm looking forward to the MCU going forward and other figures we could potentially get from Hasbro. 
All right, some overall thoughts on the figures. I absolutely dig it. I think Hasbro did an amazing job, especially with the metallic finish on the armor. It makes it pop out a little bit more and kind of stand out. So I do appreciate that, just like they did with the other figures that have the metallic finish in this wave as well. Uh, another thing, I do appreciate it being an exclusive figure. I know you're not going to hear that a lot with people in the toy community, but the reason being is because from the fiscal side, they're able to add more accessories when there's no build-a-figure piece part of it. So in this case, we got an additional handset, and we also got additional weapons as well. And also, I do want to mention they kicked ass in terms of the head sculpt. I think the photo real tech in this one was on point. It looks like the actress Angelina Jolie. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you all think about the figure. And will you be picking it up? Like I said, I think it's still available on Target's website. I'll leave a link in the description below. And like always, if you like what you see, hit that like button. If you haven't already yet, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.